Can we start two videos in a row talking about Wheel of Fortune? Yeah. <laughs> who do you get? Who who's gonna take over Pat Sajak? It's Ryan Seacrest. Didn't he already take over? That can't be real. There's no way. I don't watch the show, but I've seen stuff on the internet about it. The day Ryan Seacrest hosts is the day I die. I have bad news. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan Seacrest? <laughs> <laughs> I just, I don't know if I'm going to be able to handle Ryan Seacrest next to Vanna White. I might be less distracted if I watch Wheel of Fortune now, though, because like before it would always like, I couldn't pay attention to the game. I was always just so enamored by Pat Sajak's face staying the exact same size no matter how close you get to his head. <laughs> <laughs> well, the f***er gave you a real-life Skyrim zoom-in when you run into an NPC <laughs> like <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Spin the wheel! Spin the wheel for Yu-Gi-Oh, am I right? Every oh, time God. you do an attack, Vanna White just like slowly walks up and goes, <laughs> and does the damage! <laughs> what are we doing today? <laughs> so, if, any, if no one could tell based on the intro, um, we're doing another Yu-Gi-Oh! episode. It's that time of the month. I decided that I'm going to shake it up only slightly this time, but I hope that it makes things at least a little interesting. Um, I'm oh. just going to... I'm sorry, I'm drinking <laughs> a blue moon. So this week, I'm going to give you uh, just, just one card, a slight alteration to the format, and I'll give you three card names. I made up two of them. And you have to tell me which one is the real one. Keeping in line with the gambling Yu-Gi-Oh with the Wheel of Fortune idea, I've decided that I was I'm gonna start with a a card that involves gambling. Whoa. Yay, so, we love gambling. I do I do love gambling. Um, I'm just gonna I'm gonna give you the whole card and the name is blocked oh, wow. out. Okay, like, like you that's get all the information. Sanji and a cowboy. No, actually, that's Sanji dressed as Indiana Jones. I think. <laughs> Yep. Yeah. Just, just take it in. Just take yeah, it in. Yeah, take off the black bar. It's Sanji cosplaying as Indiana Jones. That's the name yep. of the card. That's the name it's of the card. Sanji Jones. A lot of Sanji defense Jones. this guy has. Yeah, of course. Actually, it's dreadful. Um, your three options are Gambler of Legend, The Challenger, and Jack Trevor. <laughs> Jack Trevor. <laughs> so fucking wow. Okay. I'm going to go with Jack Trevor. Because... <laughs> What? <laughs> <laughs> My only uh, thought is that, like, maybe it is, like, in reference to somebody, like an actual person. I wouldn't put that past Yu-Gi-Oh! And that's why it's called Jack Trevor. However, Gambler of Legends sounds fun, so fuck it. <laughs> that leaves me with the Challenger. If if you want to pick the challenger because I'm playing we together too, should have given four <laughs> options. That way we didn't have to do that. <laughs> I just wanted to truncate it and also add more questions, so I came up with fewer options. That's uh, understandable. I'll honestly. also be real. I I wasn't fully paying attention when you explained, so I don't know what we're trying to guess. <laughs> The card. Which, what the, the fuck is the blacked card. out on the card? Are you dumbass? <laughs> there, it's the name. It's yeah. just the name, Nico. I, but I, what, what I mean is like there. He's given us cards before that have different translations of the names. So mm. I wasn't sure if it was like one of uh, these is real in Japanese and one of these isn't. And uh, I, I didn't know. You have my word that I will not do that. I don't believe you, but that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> will you be a gambler of legend and not believe him? Uh, did this I guy, win the game? I wanted to be Jack Gambler Trevor. of Legend. Anyway, I, <laughs> the, the correct answer is Gambler of Legend. Fuck! Yeah. <laughs> I really Who's wanted Jack it Trevor? to be there, but I, I wasn't going to pick it. <laughs> Could the Gambler of Legend also be legally named Jack Trevor, though? <laughs> it's definitely possible. Jack Trevor specifically is a reference to uh, the, the Trails series. There's a, a book about this guy named Gambler Jack, and he, you meet him eventually. His name is Jack Trevor. <laughs> so, I'm disappointed. That was, that was it wasn't even a reference point. to something I, I know anything about. Well, if it means anything, I made this quiz with Eric in the call. I mean, that tracks, and he given loves the fact that, that you just made a Trails <laughs> reference. I know yeah, very little no, about Eric so in general, yeah. but I know he likes... Uh, trails. Like the, also like the game somebody. kind and the things you walk upon to, to. So that was Kyle's point, right? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah, that was Kyle. Um, I suppose I should have mentioned this earlier, but the reason that I gave you less options um, is because this quiz has eight questions. 
Oh, oh wow. Okay. And then sure. a bonus question. Oh, whoa, that's nine questions. Whoa. Yeah. The bonus no, question is going to function differently from the other eight. So be ready. Oh, I'd have it no other way. <laughs> What's okay, the round number two. If it's the same? I'm giving you a spell card this time. Oh, my God. Ooh. Whoa, that's foggy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's like no focal point here. What am I? Yeah, it's <laughs> just like it's kind at. of. It's just like the camera is like giving you the beginning of a setting. Yeah, it's just like a location. Yeah, yeah. Are there squirrels on top of those skulls? Is that what I'm seeing? Um, I they could be marmots. Who knows? Your three options are zombie world, dreadful domain and Mori. Oh, dude, so of course it's dreadful domain. Come on. I mean, it goes zombie world it says zombie on card. Yeah. Also, what the fuck is Mori? I mean, I'm pretty sure Mori just means death in Latin. Oh, is it like yeah. Memento Mori? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know if Mori was the name of the rat in the little Would corner. You? And I was like, that's really Mor- bad framing. <laughs> if it's a it's, if it's a rat imagine? named Mori and they decided to <laughs> show awesome. everything else in the card more than the, the rat. It's, it's Mari. <laughs> Mari the rat. <laughs> Maurice. Yeah. yeah. You remember Tuesdays with Mori? This is him. Yeah, that's Mori <laughs> Povich. <laughs> old yet. In Yu-Gi-Oh form. I'm also choosing Zombie World. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, no, it really is that simple. This is just Zombie World. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Dang it. <clears throat> I didn't want to fall for the zombie in the card trick. Dreadful <laughs> Domain <laughs> felt a little too uh, JJK targeted with just Domain. JJK Dread- did not invent the word domain. About. I know, but no. you've watched it. And you Dreadful made it domain up. is actually where Maury Povich resides. <laughs> I want you to stop. <laughs> no, I, I, I went over to the Dreadful Domain today. It was a real nice place. <laughs> I thought you were going to say it's like where Jack Trevor lives. Uh, <laughs> Jack Trevor and Maury hang out <laughs> in the Dreadful Domain. <laughs> so much lore this episode. So much yeah, world right building. Now. Around three. It's another spell card. Here you go. Oh, yo, that's what they bury the pharaohs in. That's a coffin dog. Sarcophagus. guy. I was about to say it says on the card sarcophagus. No, it says the first sarcophagus. (laughs) Yeah. uh, Okay. (laughs) There's another line of text. Mm -hmm. There's another there. (laughs) What are the options? I can only read. (laughs) I just want to make sure everyone says what they want. Uh, your three options are the first awakening, the second right, or the third sarcophagus. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm going to have to go with the third sarcophagus because the card says the first sarcophagus. <laughs> uh, mm. This card can only be placed. I'm going to say the first awakening. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Because it is a it is a sarcophagus that appears to be opening actively. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It would be such a shame if it was the third sarcophagus. <laughs> Why? I would be re- because it would have skipped the second one. <laughs> yeah. That could also be a card. You don't know. I, the second car- sarcophagus could have the same exact effect. Yeah. I'm gonna pick the second right. Uh, because I was kind of going back and forth between the first and the second, uh, but Nico picked the first, so fuck it. Uh, you know what? That's fine. That's fine. Um, yeah, no, this this is the third sarcophagus. I <laughs> hate. I hate. What does the second hate. sarcophagus do? Yeah, where's the second one? The, the second sarcophagus is an identical uh, card with yep. a different name and different art. <laughs> I I said that oh. as a joke, and I'm really mad that they did it as an explanation for this there's specifically there is a card called the first sarcophagus there is yes there is a first sarcophagus and no fucking uh, shot dude it specifically requires turn after turn that you play from your deck or hand the second sarcophagus and then the third sarcophagus and then something happens so (laughs) in Terrace. Are they good cards? First sarcophagus? They're good absolutely cards? awful. I was going to say, it sounds if, like if this any is of shit. those cards at any point are removed from the field before the effect resolves, it it fizzles. Nothing happens. Huh. So, what is the, the payoff effect, is like, bad. What, what is the actual effect of, of doing it correctly? 
uh, you get to summon a special monster, and that monster is really bad. <laughs> so this is a very early card. Cool. Um, a very early card, like yes. like very old. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Threw me off because I saw copyright 2020 at the bottom of the card. That's, that's, that's what made it even worse. The second and third <laughs> sarcophaguses didn't come out for like 20 years after the original card. <laughs> no, that was like back in the day. If if I remember correctly, that was like back in the day when people still used normal monsters to actually fight. Um, mm. I have so many questions, but I uh, we don't have the time. <laughs> to, to, to we simply do not have the time. <laughs> we can't ask all the questions we have about this game, or else we would have no. to make multiple episodes. Yeah. Your fourth question is this: another spell card. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's another spell card. I I like the art. I think. <laughs> what's that? What's that dude doing there with all that ass? <laughs> don't worry, they all have ass. It's quite the design. Some of this just under the water. Speedo. Okay. I like that. I like the red speedo. Good luck. Yeah, absolutely. It matches his big luscious lips. Is that the Ojama thing? Your three options are <laughs> painful decision, emergency situation, and Ojama panic. I have to go with Ojama panic. <laughs> I I really like painful decision. Um because if you came up with it, it's a very good name for what I'm looking at. So <clears throat> I will pick it out of respect to you or respect to the fact that that's a good name of the actual card. Okay, I respect that. Nico? Uh-oh. I mean, they are the Ojama. <clears throat> but emergency situation feels more like Yu-Gi-Oh than the Ojama panic. So I'm oh. going to choose emergency situation. That just sounds disrespectful to the Ojamas. Yeah. Yeah, you fool. If this was an Ojama archetype card, it would have Ojama in the name. Oof. But they wanted to make it more generic than that. So this is painful decision. <laughs> yeah. <Boo. laughs> Blame. It's a good name. So, That's a one, good. one of the few things that I've recognized about my my small childhood knowledge of Yu-Gi-Oh! And it's been wasted. <laughs> <laughs> see, I don't know what the fucking Ojama is, so that really helped me out there. I went out of what oh, that means. Oh, I see I don't what know the if you're lucky or unlucky. It, yeah. it took me so long to read what was visually happening in this card. Yeah. Like, I, it didn't process for me for a second that that's un, the yellow Ojama, like, swinging its head back and forth. I was just like, that's a lot of eyes, and that's a real big mouth. Uh, <laughs> like... <laughs> Now he's Good trying to job. decide who's going to save, goof. That's why yeah, he's trying to I before, thought he was trying to decide which yeah. one he was going to let kill him. Oh. Yeah, no, I, that's why I didn't explain <laughs> I the card. The it kind of seemed like you guys didn't understand what was happening, so I was like, I won't say it. I just I, like it. Yeah, <laughs> I just see three dudes coming for dead ass, and he's got to decide. Oh, no, he mm. does have a life. Rat. He has a life preserver. <laughs> okay, yeah. no, it all makes sense, Although, though. I'm the dumb one. In, when I look at this card, all I see is like there's a shark coming after them. If they're both in danger of being eaten, a life preserver isn't going to be fast enough to save them. <laughs> yeah, I think they're all going to die in this instance. <laughs> it's a pretty big shark. Well, he's going to get pulled in once he life preservers one. He's just like, oh, just going to fucking <laughs> fly into the water. <laughs> Round five. We're back to monster cards again. Thank God. Oh my gosh. This is a cool card. Mm -hmm. It's something. It kind of reminds me of. Um, very specifically, Lucent Nargakuga from Monster Hunter. I don't yeah. know what that means. Respect. But I think this looks like Momo from Avatar if he was a bird. <laughs> and had active camo. <laughs> Nico does I'm, not care for this card. <laughs> I'm sorry, my, my computer's really fucking up right now. Ooh. I, I don't know what's happening. My uh, uh, Opera GX oh, is taking up an insane amount of my CPU usage, so everything is wildly slow, but I'm working on it. Uh, the, 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 I don't know. That's this our anti-sponsor for this video. Opera GX. Do not fucking use Opera GX. <laughs> wow. Don't, God damn. Don't they do not sponsor us, things. therefore, do not fucking use Opera GX, unless they sponsor us in the future. Unless you want to sponsor yeah, us. Yeah, Opera GX. If, if you want us to stop trash talking your your service, you, give us money want, here and we'll say the opposite it. thing. I'll give you a try. Nico, what do you think of this epic card? Blue. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> wow. Blue! <laughs> Blue! The best description so far. Yeah. I wonder if that name behind that big black bar is Blue. <laughs> I hope so. B L O O O O O O O. I hope the name behind it is <laughs> Opera GX Sucks. <laughs> Damn. Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends Blue is the whole name. Oh, okay. Behind the. I, oh, yeah, okay. no, you're right. I think that is what this is. Your four Just, options are <laughs> four? Camouflock, Stealth Bird, Sky Feather Razor Wing, and Blue Aqua <laughs> GX Sucks. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. <laughs> you know, Damn. I'm going to have to go with Blue. <laughs> no, I. Uh, Camouflock is, is too shitty of a pun. <laughs> That like I have Damn. to guess it, at least that to give respect to Mitch for coming up with a shitty pun, because I like shitty puns. It so. it does feel like it would be right in Yu-Gi-Oh's wheelhouse to try to do that, like mm -hmm. create like a, a card art that is like kind of a clever idea and has a solid design, and then to call it something like camo flock. <laughs> um, but I, I mean, feel it, like they're not that. I feel like it's not it, but I'm gonna bird. pick it. Yeah, I'm gonna pick Stealth Bird. It feels like it's they're not that smart. Or yeah, Sky, Sky Feather Razor Razor Wing is really like it's too much, but it's also Yu Gi Oh, so it could be. But I I agree. I think with Kyle, just based on what the effect of this seems like it is, because like Stealth Bird, like when it's flip summoned, you automatically inflict inflict a thousand damage to the opponent. Like that that feels like a stealthy thing. That seems like a lot of damage. I don't have any yeah. like, reference for in most numbers. formats. You start with 8000 life points. Oh, that's like, I mean, not that much then, I guess mm. it's substantial, pounds. but not like a huge amount. Yeah. Uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, Nico and Kyle get get points this round. Damn they it. Got it on the mm. nose. It's just stealth. Bird. That's so um, boring. You it at least sure put is. you at least put <clears throat> honor onto Eric's name because he's the one that came up mm. with Camel Flock. <laughs> Good job. Eric. That you've earned that my tracks respect. really hard. You make a <laughs> shitty pun, I respect you. That's that's the way I offer. That's what I had. I had like ten cards to make this with, and I chose eight. And Eric said that, and I was like, I guess Stealth Bird's making the list. <laughs> <laughs> Round six. Six. Yeah. Round six. Here you go. Yeah. Whoa! It's oh. that guy from that other card with the pots oh. that were from that other card. He's like, you want to buy some pot? I don't. <laughs> ha, ha, ha! Shut up! I don't like the face. Why not? I don't. I I don't. I don't know. Tell Daddy why you don't like it. There's just like, you can either have a lot of tongue or a lot of teeth, but if you have both, something's wrong. Kittens uncomfortable. I don't know. Um, if I <laughs> what are the names? <laughs> what are the names? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> your, your three options are Sinister Pot Thief, Gob no Goto, or Goblin of Greed. Damn it. None of them were something to do with <laughs> Kitty. So that's yeah, like, no, no, none of them include mm, Daddy or Kitten. This no. is, or this is Jack upsetting Trevor. <laughs> 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 Jesus. I don't yeah. think it's right, but I'm feeling Goblin of Greed. Okay. Um. I mm, I don't I don't like any of these. I don't think any <laughs> of them are right. Mm. I'm gonna go with Gob No Go Toe because maybe that means. Something that will when translated will make more sense for this card. Like maybe it's <laughs> may, maybe it translates to like coming for kitty's. <laughs> he got that tongue out. I don't know. Kitten is greatly un 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 unsatisfied <laughs> with this. Um, I will I will pick a sinister pot thief. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was gonna try to explain myself, but I don't know. 
This dude just, <laughs> just did the vibe. I'm getting Domain some expansion, vibes. fellatio. Don't. Kitten is really upset. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy's getting upset. I... <laughs> okay. Look around. <laughs> Tell me why I'm wrong. Please. So, Gob no Goto is, uh, I just put Goblin Thief of Greed into Google Translate for Japanese, and cool. it came out with Goblin no Goyoku Tozoku. Um, so, I, cool. I hyphened it. Uh, the, the correct answer is Goblin of Greed, so Nico um, ties it up with Kyle. Lame. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> it's because he's being affected by the aura, being let off by the Pot of Greed and the Jar of Greed. And they're greedy. Uh, can we please move on? Yes, can we please <laughs> yes, move on? Please. You cannot beg to move on from the bit that you are continuing. <laughs> I'm going to need you to censor some of what you said. I probably will. The geese Ty hunger Tyler. for what you said. <laughs> Tyler, 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 you're making daddy really upset over there and kittens getting nervous for daddy's mental capacity. Daddy's going to bust at some point. <laughs> oh my God. Nico's going to be a Tumblr sexy man and Kyle's going to be a Tumblr baby girl. <laughs> oh this is the worst video we've ever made. It's 100% my fault, but still, I'm not going to recognize it. <laughs> yeah, good Damn. good for you. Woo. Good for you. <laughs> we started so oh. strong anyway. with talking about Wheel of Fortune, and here we are. Um, Let's move on to something much more agreeable, this guy. <laughs> Speaking of Pat Sajak, he's really Speaking giving a lot of energy. teeth. Speaking of Vanna White. Actually, no, his mouth is way too big to be Pat Sajak. Yeah. Um, <sighs> like I said, Vanna White. What are the options? <laughs> Why are you coming for Vanna like that? Yeah, what'd she ever do to you? Vanna White is a reptilian. Uh, your three <laughs> options are... Oh, damn! Damn! Your three options are... Laser laser Beast, Alien Telepath, or Scarn Magistrate of Martian. Oh, so you didn't make a fourth option called Vanna White this time? What the oh fuck? Oh my god. I don't think that any Martians have anything to do with Ska, nor does this design. So I don't think it's gonna be that last option. Although... <laughs> It's he is so a real big fish. <laughs> so, like, ah! Maybe I am going to go with Skarn. No! <laughs> okay. Dude, the bits must stop. God, this channel was a fucking mistake. <laughs> a year in. <laughs> yeah. We're it shutting it down. Uh, it I, I guess I have to go with Skarn after that, unfortunately. I appreciate it. <laughs> His whiskers shoot laser beams. I guess laser beast. Is that what's happening? Oh my god, you're right. Yeah, that's what's yeah. happening. Yeah, it's pretty um, cool. <laughs> just I, 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 pr I may be falling for the red herring with this. Uh, he does resemble a red herring, but reading the the card description, it does say something about if a monster with an A counter battles an alien. Don't fact check me saying that he doesn't look like a red herring. Fuck you. Put um, on the what are you talking about? <laughs> Why would I? Why would I copy paste a picture of a red herring in the chat? Yeah, the similarities just are so clear. Is that red? <laughs> definitely it does just look like, like it's just <laughs> I'm the alien telepath. I don't. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's a herring. Space, space, space. Make it red. <laughs> yeah. It, that. I accidentally posted the same picture you twice. You did. I the fuck. <laughs> Dude, I need you to. I need you the to mind take the are crazy. Down and then put it back up. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker puts a second of the same image up to distract us. Then immediately puts up another red herring that says, "I'm here to distract you." The mind games are out of control. <laughs> I'm just Damn. posting what Google's given me, bro. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Once again, Nico took the simple route of reading the card effect and then guessing the uh, name with the keyword in it. And unfortunately, this time, it, it still it got him another point. So <laughs> this quiz it's, sucks. It's alien telepath. I stopped doing that after like Simply round two it couldn't and I haven't any points since. Yeah. Damn it! Reading the card explains the card. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No! <laughs> 
Now read this it. one. No. <laughs> I, I'm, I've read. I've met my reading quota for the day. That is not another worm, monster in your my guy. If your no, opponent takes spell do this. damage from attacking this card at the end of the damage sle- step, select one spell or trap card your opponent controls and destroy it. They still don't know how worms work. Also, no, 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 Nico. We don't know how worms work. Yeah, clearly. clearly. Yeah, I'm really bad. <laughs> at it. You think that you're more intelligent than? 2020 Studio Dice Shueisha TV Tokyo Konami replica not for use in sanctioned tournaments. This shit's a replica. <laughs> You're not getting real, actual cards for this. You guys really figured me out. No one was getting points for this because you're not even guessing a real card. I Dude. just realized that you have a fucking new hat that says Opera Worm. He does. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't notice that until right now. I didn't. I didn't know how to bring it up, but Worm is a very appropriate time to bring. I almost tried to bring it up during the Opera GX bit. <laughs> I couldn't make it land. On. I couldn't make it land. I also just realized Skunk Two has underwear on. That's yeah, cool. oh, yeah. That's the difference between Skunk the One and Skunk yeah. Two. Skunk Two, they added the undies. That's the difference yeah. between Tungsten and Skunk Two. Yeah. Um, you have three skunk Foo. Yes. Now I do. What the fuck? Can you please give us That's options? It's a wild callback. <laughs> I thought I was the only one. Uh, <laughs> your three options are Worm Prism, <laughs> Worm Solid. Or worm limiter. It's a worm prism, worm so I'm gonna say it's a worm solid. prism. Worm solid. It's a worm solid. It's a worm solid. It's a worm solid. Worm I dropped prism. a couple worm solids right before we recorded this, actually. Dude. I don't like that. Mine, my colon mine is not, cleaned out. He did not keep not, the stink in. They were not solid enough to be considered worms. Stinking blinking. It's your guess, Nico. I said worm prism. Oh, oh. okay. <laughs> what did you guess, Kyle? Worm. worm solid. Okay. <laughs> at, at this angle specifically, actually, I'm pretty sure. Worm solid. <laughs> yeah, I went worm solid. That's You're not a dropping solid. A, a nice worm solid unless you're throwing throwing some mm. neck into it to really get it worm out of your solid. body. So worm initially, solid? I rewrote this question because I thought that my first idea was too mean, but initially my idea was uh, worm solid, worm liquid, and worm gas. <laughs> but <laughs> I hate that I'm right. Oh, yeah, man, yeah. Really Kyle stupid. got a point. It's worm solid. Yeah, I'm oh God, wrong, it's worm solid. Just because that means Nico's also yeah. wrong. So it's fair. <laughs> I I won't argue that. It's a worm solid. We're, since we're we're moving on to the bonus round, so I just want to oh announce what uh, what uh, what the, what the Kyle, points are. We have Kyle perked up so fucking fast. <laughs> I love bonus rounds. <laughs> I love bonus rounds. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> You have an opportunity for six points here. <laughs> Holy fuck. Um, the Jesus. score is Jeez. Nico four, Tyler no. two, Kyle four. It's tied and shit. Though, wow. Man. This whole <laughs> quiz didn't matter until right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, lock the in. commenters love that. <laughs> <laughs> I've been told. I'm going. So, OK, so it's all based on we have seen this guy before um, in one of the previous quizzes. Uh, Warrior Die Greffer. Oh, yeah. that's different. Yeah. You saw, I believe it was Dark Greffer. Oh, that was yeah. what you saw yeah. before. Yeah. yeah, like I was like, this, this guy's a lot more really lot more oddly defined. Look at his lead. damn uh, elbow muscles. Enhanced. Yeah. His yeah. eyes mm-hmm. tell a story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Funnily enough, uh, Dai is one of the Yu-Gi-Oh monsters with a story told throughout the many of the cards, which means he is featured in many cards. Oh dear. I am going to give you six card names. Okay. And you need to tell me, uh, just like message me on Discord or something, um, which of these are real and which of these are fake. <laughs> like, okay. Or we can go through them one by one. I uh, just uh, give us the names, I guess. Just the whole, yeah. all the names. Okay. All right. The cards are, and Eric and I had a field day coming up with with yeah, stupid, <laughs> stupid names. I fucking bet you uh, did. The, okay, we have double die, die dance, unexpected die, tie die, expendable die, and how did die get here? <laughs> <sighs> I would like to die. 
right no, now. No, we'll start yeah, with in- double <laughs> die. <laughs> we'll start with double die. Tell okay. me, do you think it's real or not? No. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Cool. Are you gonna like wait till the end to tell us all of them? Yes. Oh, that's like lame that. as fuck. I like. No, hey. I like it. Keep it spicy. There's suspense. Die dance. Is it real or not? No. no. Fake. So it's all on no. Everyone said that. Yeah. Oh, so I, no. I, I, I didn't even see yeah. me. We all said it the same time. They both said no, and you said I said fake. It was a singular resounding okay. no. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Unexpected die. No. Real or no? No. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I don't know, I can't, I can't get a read on this one. I can't get a read. Hold on, Tyler, are you just going to guess that none of these are real? Spoilers, man. <laughs> cool. We're halfway through it, and like you've all, you've said I, no instantly on all of them. None of them sound real. Because <laughs> I can't see, I can't see there being two dies for double die. That'd be fucking weird, although we yeah. did mention that there was a dark one and a warrior one, so now yeah. I'm kind of second-guessing myself on that. Die dance? This is clearly a man who cannot dance. He is white <laughs> as fuck. Whoa. Just say I'm going to say it's fake. I'm going to say unexpected die is fake. I'm going to say it's fake. Okay, okay. I hope that one's real, and he's just like, it's it's a card of like two dragons fighting, and die is just <laughs> peeking out of the corner. Yeah. It's just <laughs> like, it's just like, it's like that one card with like no good centering, and then just like off in the oh, one yeah. corner, it's just him but going... <laughs> <laughs> or it's like someone kicking open like a porta potty and it's just die like fucking just go into wipe and just oh why is die in undead world or zombie world <laughs> yeah it's just that card exactly yep. but he is placed <laughs> He's in the background yeah. he okay. is where the mouse is <laughs> tie die real or no absolutely yes, that's real no, no, that's got to be no. real. No, I, no I, I know y'all had fun, but this this feels like the right kind of fun. No. Okay. No. It's fake. If there's some hippie ass warrior die greffer card, I'm going to be happy, but I don't think. <laughs> or <laughs> no, it's just like him and fucking Ty from Digimon dapping it up. Like, <laughs> that'd be Ooh. tight, but I don't think it's real. <laughs> dapping it up. Now Do I hope it is real. I want a little bit of that. <laughs> <laughs> If we we haven't gotten fan art in a long time. <laughs> if someone can replicate the fucking predator like handshake with Ty and Ty Grepper, I will lose my mind. But no, listen, I need it to be so that Ty's arm is still like the spindly little pony. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but just really like veiny, like yeah. 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 With the huge so gloved hand. Ooh. Yeah. Like it looks Ooh. like the gloved hand is veiny, but then like it's attached <laughs> to like the spindly arm. <laughs> this sucks. What's the next one? Oh, God. Expendable no, die. No, that's real, that's real that's as fake. hell. No, it's absolutely fake. Real. Fake is so okay. real. Okay. Die is not expendable. So <laughs> and finally. How did Die get here? That has Eric written all over its <sighs> ass. That real. is fake as shit. It's fake. It, it's probably fake. I gotta, I gotta hope that just by picking the same thing for all of them, I have a chance of getting at least three points and win. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's run it down. Double Die, real. Fuck. Die Dance, I'm... real. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> Unexpected Die. Real. Fuck! No. <laughs> I did the opposite! I picked the wrong one to oh, go all no, in on! buddy. <laughs> Tie die. Fake. Oh. Aww. Okay. Mm-hmm. Expendable die. Real. Fuck! <laughs> Damn. How did die get here? No. Real. <laughs> no! <laughs> Fucking no! shot. We came no! up with so many answers, only used one. <laughs> no fucking shot, my guy. How oh my god, Die Dance is incredible. That, that art is, is fucking unexpected. Rad. Okay, is th- we, were, we were making an Arnold Schwarzenegger reference, and there's literally yeah, an Arnold Schwarzenegger reference <laughs> as a fucking card. 
That's this crazy. Sucks shit. <laughs> Holy shit. Does Double Die even have a, like more than He's one really die small in the, in the background. Oh, is he? Oh, <laughs> yeah. It's actually it's die in dance, the background though. of Unexpected Die, I believe. Oh, yeah, it is the same <laughs> thing, just at this a different... This yeah. is, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm going to be honest mm -hmm. with you guys. I think this is my favorite archetype in Yu-Gi-Oh. He's kind of red. He's, also, there's he's only just, one monster card that he's... Well, I guess we've seen Dark Greffer. But, like... I I, I don't. I don't like. Die I dance. don't even know who won. I wasn't paying attention to. It like, wasn't what we me enough. It was I not know. me. Oh, I know. I <laughs> couldn't. I had didn't have enough mental capacity yeah, to actually keep who track won? of what my guesses were in the first place. The final score: Nico six, Tyler three, Kyle seven. Dang. It was a close match, but Let's we do go. have a winner. Damn. I can't believe we discovered Kyle's favorite Yu-Gi-Oh card. It's, it's Dai. Dai. It's Dai Greffer. Every I love Dai, Dai card. Grifford. He's about to make a name for himself. <laughs> wow. There is no outro for this video. Unexpected Dai. <laughs> <laughs>